Hello, another video from Pixie. Um, this is the result of what I was doing in my other video with the colloidal copper. Um, <laughs> it's pretty much dissolved it and converted it into um, into its uh, colloidal form. I mean, basically, it's it's kind sort of separated out. But yeah, it definitely tastes copperish. Um, I might do some further of further experiments. I might actually look at colloidal copper and then mixing it into vodka or something like that. I know um, the Russians do make some stuff that's basically um, like you have gold leaf. So I'll be doing some colloidal gold. Um, poss probably, yeah, next week I'll be doing some colloidal gold. Um, I'm just going to be using very simple is a gold leaf so I found a cheap deal so I bought these gold leaves and I'm just going to wrap it around um, the connectors and and then basically do that basically just um, put it through the process both copper um, it require some lemon juice and I'll probably put some Celtic um, sea salt in there as well just mix it up process it um, like I say, I look at what we can do with it afterwards. It may be, you know, it could be used uh, some medicinal type uh, tonic, and so I might look at that. Like, you know, it might be quite nice to put with a bit of vodka, maybe some type of herb, a strong herb that can actually break down into the vodka and give it a certain amount of taste as well. If you want something nice to drink, um, so yeah, and this, this is my. Um, Colloidal, colloidal silver, so it's, it floats pretty well in there. I mean, it's probably a bit of a participus um, to filter it out. So I'm just saying for here, really, what what might need to do is filter it out because it are most likely um, go a bit funny if once um, once the, the water um, changes, basically it starts. To more oxidize it go through um, a process where it might turn a lot darker um, I had it when I made some copper acetate and um, just got it out of the fridge um, yeah see it looks it looks literally black because what happened is that the the acetate formed, and I still had um, the copper I was using it in the actual solution. So it started to go through a different process of oxidizing all sorts. So it's probably several different types of copper mixed in there. I mean, it diluted, it comes out a bluish color. Um, it come out like it's a bit like it's turquoise here. It'd be, it'd be a darker, the darker range. Then I did put a. Uh, a small bit of acetate in here. I thought it would speed the process up because basically it's got the copper particles in the water, so it make that electrical current go quicker through the um, through the water. So that was me trying to be clever. Um, and then I've got an old because I was you're using things that you would put on like your jars. So if you got it filled up, two little holes, um, put your little put your metal your your metal rods in there, whatever you're using. So I'll do that with the silver in a bit. So I have my one of my silver, so I swap it around and I might as well just do like um, a little vat. I think the plan is that I'll, um, I'll set up a coffee maker and I'll produce some distilled water and then I'll use that as a part of the process. Um, I did buy this actually, I don't know if it's it, it does have, it is quite effective. Um, they claim they use high elect electricity, electricity in it um, so that it's basically, that's why it's not a pink colour as the other as the other types of colloidals. Um, so yeah, there's a different research project I've got going on. I wanted to patent a technique, um, but if I can't patent it, then I might just tell people what it is and just say it's my research. And then see what happens. See what happens. Um, it may be that someone buys it up. Um, but I think if I 
if I'm the source by which it comes out. I might even invent the technique for it. I just need to do the research and see how you can combine it um, with the human body. And, um, and uh, yeah, so I don't want to go too deep into it, but I'll have to look, do some research into some other areas. Um, so anyway, so that's that's all. That's the latest update uh, for myself, and I'll let you know how things progress. This is PCSIR.